Today on Lemony Fresh Pops, we got two more of the Mystery Girl boxes from this past week to open. Then we're going to show off some basketball cards that we got as well to do something a little bit different. So if you want to see these basketball cards or you want to see the Mystery Girl box opening, then stick around for the rest of the video. Welcome back to Lemony Fresh Pops. Today we got a couple cool things to look at. We're going to be looking at some basketball cards from my favorite team, the Atlanta Hawks. So this year, Atlanta Hawks are doing really good. If you're not a sports guy, you might tune out for this part. But, you know, I did start getting into collecting the NBA cards recently. And there are some pretty cool ones of Atlanta Hawks players. I got a really good deal on a lot of Atlanta Hawks cards. So I got this from a guy... I met in the um, Hydro Pump Discord server, so I got a bunch of these um, rookie cards. So I'm gonna show them off. You know, so we got you know Aneka Kongwu, one of our rookies from this year. Then we got Torian Prince, which he's actually not on the team anymore. So as of this year, we got a Vince Carter, the legendary Vince Carter. He uh, played his last game ever in Atlanta last year, right before the pandemic. Got another Kongwu. We got one of the, my favorite players, Kevin Herter, shooting guard, really good player. Then we got another one of our rookies from this year, um, or was it last year? DeAndre Hunter. Yeah, he's a pretty good player right there, DeAndre. Then we got my favorite player, probably John Collins on the team. Ba Boom. Then we got another one of our young rising stars. We got Cam Reddish. Let's flip through, blah, blah, blah. See what else we got. Okay, we got another one of my favorites. We got a Clint Capella. Leading rebounder right now in the league. Ba boom. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> we got Jeff Teague, who um, currently not on the team anymore as well. <laughs> another one not on the team. So I'm gonna put that in the not on the team anymore pile. Then we got my all-time, I think, favorite player from the Hawks. All-time favorite player. Trey A. Young. I had the Funko Pop with Trey Young. I'll grab them uh, right here. But bam, they do have a Funko of them. If you have a Funko of yourself, you gotta be a pretty good player, right? That is a Trey Young Funko Pop card. So that's gonna look really cool on the shelf together. Let's see who else we got. We got Skylar Mays. He kind of plays for the um, you know the G League team, which is the like second tier team. But he comes back and forth sometimes. Got another Cam Reddish, which is really cool. Another Kongwu, Cam Reddish, another DeAndre Hunter, uh, another really cool DeAndre, DeAndre, Kevin, DeAndre, another Kevin. And I got this cool other pack that I got from the same guy. He gave me a really sick deal. I think I got 20, I think $27 shipped for all these, so awesome. And these are a bunch of the um, better cards, in my opinion. So we got a really cool Trey Young vanity plate card. But bam. Um, another Chronicles card, just different stuff. Um, a really cool DeAndre Hunter holographic. Uh, this Cam Reddish is really cool. He's not been doing that hot this year. He's a little heart banged up, but bam. Cam Reddish. Another Cam Reddish. Ooh, this Kevin Herter. Oh, that's pretty fly. Kevin Herter. Uh, another, another Kevin Herter. Ooh, Mark Spellman. I don't think he's on the team anymore either. But ba bam, Mark Spellman. Uh, got this really cool Trey Young. And then we got a signed Skylar Mays. So he did have one signature card. So this guy, whenever he pulls Hawks ones, he's gonna hit me up and send me all the Hawks ones. So really awesome that I was able to meet this guy and able to get these really cool cards so i'm really stoked about being able to get these um you know cards uh, and from him every single time he gets some pox ones but if you're bored by the sports talk we're gonna be getting to these mystery grails here in a second all right enough of the sports talk okay what most of you guys probably came here for here's the mystery grail
So we got two boxes today to open. Last time we did get a grail, it was our first grail ever. <laughs> and so we'll see if we can get that lucky again. So, ba bam, two. All right, go ahead and decide down in the comments. Which one we get open first, right hand or left hand? I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay, most comments said left hand, so we're gonna go left hand first. So, ba bam. Again, for our newbies, I don't think at this point anyone who watches my channel or watches Funko YouTubers is a newbie on these anymore, but bam. Especially after all the drama. But, three, two, one, uh, and I forgot, actually forgot about the second flap, and ba bam. Candy. And we got... Uh, okay, the Pikachu that's only a target. That's not bad. I like Pokemon. But bam, Pikachu only a target. This has got to be a cheap-ass one. But bam, I'm going to predict $12, $13. It's a target exclusive. So, bam. Then we got our Scratcher. So this time we got a couple of Lollipops. That'll go in the pile. So... Pikachu, not bad, so we'll have to look up that price. But I'm going to say 10 to 15 range, so I'm going to say 12. Uh, so, what do you think we're going to get in the next box? Hopefully, maybe another Pokemon to go with it, or something really cool. But luckily, I don't have that one. Let's go ahead and scratch it. Dang it. Oh, my God. I'm just already on the high from those uh, basketball cards, so these mystery girls can't get me down today. But, 200. Stupid. Okay, let's go for that second one. So, okay, three, two, one, and we got, ooh, another Target exclusive. Racking up the Target ones today. I think I have this one already. Ba ba bam. The uh, Disneyland 65th Anniversary Alice. Uh, what year is this one? 20? Yeah. Pretty sure my wife has this one at work. I think it's at her office at work. So, I'll double check with her. I'll let you guys know if she has it or not. But we got the Scratch and Win card, so we could win big. Remember, tokens, prizes, or gift cards. Those are the things that you can get. I've never got anything besides tokens, I think. I think the odds of gift cards is probably like 2%, maybe, at most. Shit. Uh. <sighs> Honestly, guys, today, <laughs> I might not even end up destroying either of these. Because these are both kind of cool. I mean, they're both Target exclusive, so I thought that was pretty interesting. But we'll have to look at the PPG, whichever one is least expensive we might have to get rid of. But stick around and see if I destroy them or not. Well, it did end up being that we did have this Alice already. It's just not in our house. It is at my wife's um, office. And we didn't have this Pikachu because I already knew that. But which Funko did you like better? Did you like the Alice or did you like the Pikachu better? Or did you like our slew of Hawks player basketball cards? So you decide. Did you like the cards better or did you like one of our two Funko Pops better? I think obviously, in my opinion, I did like getting the cards better, but if I had to choose between one of the Mystery Grails, honestly, I think I'm going to like to say the Alice. You know, I'm not a huge Disney fan. The Alice one is just really like classic looking. The These Disneyland Resort 65th Anniversary boxes, 
are just really cool. That's why I'm not, I'm tempted not to destroy this one just because of how cool the box looks. And the Pikachu is a Target exclusive. It's the smiling one. So um, with his hands down, which really doesn't make much difference. But, you know, I like them both. But I think I like the Alice a good bit better. And then, obviously, I love the card. So hit me up if you like the basketball cards. And let me know down in the comments if you um, like the Alice or the Pikachu better. Let me know. But... I really appreciate you guys coming to the video, watching us open these cool um, basketball cards, looking at those for the first time, and looking at our two Mystery Girl boxes and seeing if we could pull another Grail. Too bad we didn't. But again, I really appreciate you guys coming out, and I'll see you guys next time.